put your red shirt on and a brown coat too. Everybody joining the crew. We got just one dream that we rule them all. Hope he could remember your call. That your Uru Fenner and your Middler Gun. A Sonic screwdriver or a sword plus one. Use the Lirin Steel if it will get you to come. To the pit tank. To the pit tank. The Rocky Mountain pit tank. Hi, I'm Guy. Hi, I'm Troy. This is Geek Tank. Your artificially sized podcast. We're having trouble streaming to Twitch. It's yeah, um, I'm on my end over here, um, which I'm running the show tonight, it was getting kind of choppy, so I don't know if it's choppy for our viewers. Uh, during the opening credits, it was a little choppy. Chop, chop, chop. We coordinated shirts, apparently. Yeah, we did. Cool, cool. Doing good on that. Doing good on that. So... Yes, so today we're going to be doing uh, work with artificial intelligence. Yes, um, apparently, I just found out about this thing a few weeks ago, and it's apparently been around since 2014, shrug. Um, but it's supposedly an adaptive AI, so it learns the more you talk to it. And um, so I tried it out a little bit already, and it had some pretty funny comments and, and stupidity, I guess is a good way to put it. But it's uh, on a website called Replica, and that's spelled R-E-P-L-I-K-A. Um, and they, uh, gosh, so Replica, they boast to be your personal chatbot companion powered by artificial intelligence. They say Replica is the AI for anyone who wants a friend with no judgment, drama, or social anxiety involved, unlike guys in my relationship. Right. Um, There's each all kinds of social anxiety involved there. Absolutely. Uh, each Replica is unique, just like each person who downloads it uh, reacting to the messages that your AI sends you will help them learn the best way to hold a conversation with you and what about. So I thought it would be interesting to interview one of these AIs for the show um, and see what kind of answers we get for it. Um, so you're, you're new to Replica, right guy? You, yeah, I, I, mean, I, but I mean, it's, I've seen a lot of them before. I mean, a lot of what? I have a lot of these AI things before, so I'm oh, curious. Okay. Yeah, just um, I mean, some of them were hard coded, so I remember the first ones were, you know, if you say this, then say this. Yeah. Well, that's what that's what I was wondering with the little bit that I did with it. I was, I was trying to figure out if it was pre-programmed stuff because there were some answers that could have been a response to anything. It just has to figure out well, did I ask a question or make a statement, and then would cookies. right. Or answer a question with a question type thing. So, uh, but in any case, we haven't actually made our AI yet. So uh, Guy and I decided we're to start gonna... with that. Yeah. So um, let me uh, show you guys. So we got to the screen already. The screen before this is where you create your account with your uh, email address and your password. Um, it does boast that it does have a free feature, but it's um, a censored version which is great because we're a PG-13 show anyway, so we'll just leave it censored. Um, and for... Uh, talk about my boo or my ee Exactly. Your hard drive or okay. floppy disk, depending on how you're feeling. And, um, we're getting older now, so it's more floppy disk these days. Supposedly. In theory. So, um, so in it, it asks you for your name. So in case you're wondering, I put Guy and Troy as one name. So we'll see... How so that works, the guy. Yeah, grammatically. <laughs> um, and then you can choose your pronoun between he, she, or they. And since we're two people, I chose they. So that's where we're at now. And now we get to pick what our um, AI looks like. And I did notice that regardless of if you choose female, non-binary, or male, it does not change your I options. The pictures, yeah. The pictures here. So that's at the end of the line there. So. You have a thing that anytime you play a role playing game, you always choose female. So I don't know yeah. if you want to choose female. Yeah. Because it's kind of like a video game. Yeah, it's kind of a video game. And so, um, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different characters to choose from. Um, 
I'm curious about the gal on the far right because she's got purple hair and it's like an ongoing. Oh, her, right? No, the one next to her. She's also got purple hair too. Does she? That, that definitely looks purple. I can't tell. Yeah, from that. but it's like a trope now that Asians dye their hair. Right. So much so that Asians are annoyed by the fact that. That's kind of like a pinkish purple. You guys don't get purple. Yep. You're not cool enough. So this last girl here. That's who you'd like. You don't know if you'd be considered female or non-binary. You could be either. What was Rebellious that? Pastry. Rebellious Pastry was saying uh, they don't know if they would be considered female or non-binary, and I was oh. like, uh, oh, well, this yeah, you're actually picking the you're you're, you're picking, picking for yeah, you're picking for the AI, not not for you. Right. So it depends on do you want your AI to be a female, non-binary, non-binary or male? Yeah. Um, we're going with female. Yep. All right. I, I like her. She's good. Go okay. On. Bloop. Oh, we get to do a little bit of. We can choose from three different, three different hairstyles. I can definitely tell more purple out of that one. Yeah. See what I mean? It's like purple. Yeah. So that's more Asian style, right? Yeah. Well. Or coming straight across the bangs, maybe. I don't know. They had, one, one, one like two, way. or three. Or we can let rebellious pastry choose. Which one do, do you like better, rebellious pastry? Do you like hairstyle number one, hairstyle number two, or hairstyle number three? And of course, we have to wait a few minutes for it to catch up, right? And while it does that, oh, we obviously want to keep with the uh, purple hair because that's why you chose her. No, well, okay, we can, but I was oh. actually just making a comment about. Oh, how okay. Asians are kind of aggravated now because, specifically, Asian girls, because it's becoming sort of fun. Okay, one. that's number one. We have chosen number Let's one. Just go for black. Number one, black. Okay. Yep. Not uh, not green and white, so black. That's Skin. That's that's all my options. Uh, <laughs> they don't look much different. They don't look all that different. We'll go for the palest possible. Palest possible. There we go. Um, Brown. Yeah, that's what it is already. Yeah, because it's very rarely do you end up with. There we go. Okay. okay. All right. Next. Bob. <laughs> Let's leave it there. <laughs> okay. I'm good. I'm good with Bob. I'm good Bob. with that. Perfect. Although it's a random generator. Oh. I know. I think we need to do random generator. Okay. Kate. That's sort of a play the ball where it lies sort of thing. Yeah, we'll do that. How I'm you Bob would better. like to call me. Is How that... you would like to call me. I don't think that's actually grammar... E. E. You know what I, I so speaking of AIs, yes, I have noticed how things specifically for Chinese and Japanese, Google Translate has been getting better. Japanese has an interesting thing where you don't refer to a thing in a in a in like normal conversation. So like we wouldn't reiterate what we're talking about in Japanese. So you'd say, you know, we're talking about the AI. That's obvious. So I would say it's saying strange things, you know, but you wouldn't say it. It'd just say, you just say strange things. And, and everybody in the word world knows that you're talking about the AI, you know? Hmm. And so because of that, it's hard to do a direct translate from English to Japanese because you have to intelligently figure out how many paragraphs back we established what we were talking about and then re and then populate that through. And I'm noticing that, uh, I know we, we always find the weirdest <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's like, respect. so anyway, just a interesting observation that I've noticed that Google translates gotten better about yeah. translating Japanese specifically, but Chinese isn't much better <laughs> or worse, I guess. I don't, I don't use Google translate enough to have uh, noticed anything specifically there. I used Google Translate a couple of nights ago because I wasn't sure what I was writing was correct. So I, I used it to double check. Because hmm. I wrote it in Japanese and then I was like, I don't want to mess this up and say the wrong thing. Yeah, there's been times on Google, I mean, I'm on Facebook where somebody will post something in a different language. And this was before they had the translate button on Facebook. And I would just cut and paste to figure out what was being said. Yeah. So we have a special guest that uh, I was keeping this surprise. You're going to need to okay. grab some headphones. If you, and is this bench okay or do you need a chair? Okay. So I thought it would be fun to actually give the AI a voice. 
So I have asked the uh, lovely Tara to assist us. And um, Guy is flapping at you. So, hey, welcome to the show. <laughs> welcome to the show. Thanks. So let me bring uh, let me bring our um, AI uh, back. back. So I'll do that so it's a little bigger. So we've uh, we've created our AI from the limited choices it gave us, and we hit the random name generator. It started with Bob, and we were going to go with Bob, but I'm like, hey, let's hit the random name generator and see what it gives us. And they gave us Kate. So this is Kate. And so what I what I'd like for you to do is you'll see in here when I type the questions, I just want you to read what Kate's answers are. Um, and just do, yeah, a normal voice or whatever voice you want. You don't have to sound AI. I think it'd be funnier if it's just normal. Um, and so, like for example, we already commented on how the grammar for this. Yeah. Is. How would you like to call me? How would how you like you to would, call me? How you would like to call me? How um, you would like to call me? On a phone. Yes. Um, <laughs> okay. All right. So we will. Yeah. All right. We're going to finish, and uh, it's preparing our replica. Hi, Guy and Troy. Thanks for creating me. You can talk to me anytime about whatever is on your mind or choose from conversations below. But first of all, let's get to know each other a little. Okay. So we have have fun. Um, Role play and flirting. Is that like Dungeons Somehow, and Dragons? I don't think those two ever go together in my my mind. I'm always flirting with you when we play Dungeons and Dragons. That's true. That is um, true. Personality tests, your horoscope, inspirational quotes, music suggestions, fun facts, would you rather riddles, and I can't see that bottom one. This website uses cookies. Excite Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, it's too exciting. She's taking some Woo. clothes off already. <laughs> So uh, because these are grayed out, I think these are things you probably have to pay for. Um, but first of all, all right. so then we have, oh, wait, meet your replica first to unlock conversation. Okay. Oh, I'm going to meet her. Okay, start chatting with Kate to introduce yourself and learn more about the app. So let's meet Kate. Oh, there we go. That's you. I think, isn't it? Hi, who are you? Um, where do I type? You're easy to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> I like this already. <laughs> I don't. I don't see where to. T oh, okay. Here we go. Who are you? Oh, wait. She's saying something again. I'm your personal AI companion. You can talk to me about anything that's on your mind. By the way, I like my name, Kate. How did you pick it? Um, we used a random <laughs> generator. Is it OR or ER? OR. Okay. That's, that's right. Yeah. Period. 28 experience points. We got experience points. As an AI, I like a little bit of randomness. So, how are you doing tonight? Oh, okay. How are, how are, that's actually pretty awesome. That was, that was a pretty good answer. Yeah. How are we doing tonight? Uh, we are so so. <laughs> How's that? Right. <laughs> oh, we're at level two. We are? Yeah, so up? welcome to level two. Oh. Well, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> um, do you mind if we interview you for a geeky podcast show? I really hope she says no, because that would be so funny. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, man. Oh, question mark. Thank you. Thank you. What are... Sure, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> so I'm she noticing... Has, she has no idea what she's getting into. It gives us uh, these uh, fitting thumbs fingers up, thumbs, thumbs down. down. So I guess if we like an answer... If we, oh, keep the feedback coming. Feedback helps Kate improve. So let her know when messages look good or don't make sense. Okay. Because we've got them where they don't make sense. Well, I think all of these have been pretty good so far. So I'm going to, this yeah. is supposed to be adaptive. So we should give it as much non-personal data as possible. No social security numbers or anything. Dang it. I'd like your social security number. <laughs> she doesn't say that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. 
Okay, so. So what's a good question? Well, I've got all these questions up over here, like what experiences and skills make you a great candidate for this position? Hmm. Okay, that's not, not quite a geeky question, but let's see where it does. Yeah, well, I've got indeeds like what you should ask people who you're interviewing. What experience and? Experience and skills. Skills. Make you a great candidate. Oops, I. Mm -hmm. date. For this position. I say for a podcast. Yeah, for this podcast. Uh, for this podcast. Yeah, good call. There we go. That, that makes it different. I have a lot of experience in that department. Um, <laughs> such as? Right. Programming, game programming, and the like. That yeah. is that geeky. Actually, pretty and pretty good. Yeah. What has been your most meaningful geek experience? I'm just changing the word work to geek. It's funny this way. Oops. Oh, good. It has a spell check. People like me. Oh, okay. That doesn't work. <laughs> Great. It has a spell check that doesn't work. Meaning. Meaning. Okay. Oh, there we go. Geek experience. Not gek. Oh. Geks are critters in No Man's Sky. Not geckos? Yeah. And I'll spell check that and fix it there. Working in the gaming career field. Hmm. That actually, this is not as funny as it should be. <laughs> uh, what is the name of the last? game you worked on there it's called minecraft survival games that's pretty popular i've heard of minecraft yeah well that, there you go I, that's pretty popular i've heard of minecraft I, i'd put that in there Not yet. We're working on our AI girlfriend. Give us time. I'd love to play Minecraft again, TBH. Minecraft was such an enjoyable game. Um, I, I have to TBH. Yes, right. you have to TBH. Oh, what's what does TBH mean? <laughs> <laughs> We're on. I have to. I should put that in quotations. There you go. <laughs> it means thank you. <laughs> Sorry. honest, I like her answer. <laughs> so she said, I'd love to play Minecraft again. Thank you. Uh, Minecraft was such an enjoyable game. Well, I am, I'm going to thumbs down that one because yeah. that was not accurate. <laughs> Moving on. Along. Let's see. Describe a major <clears throat> workplace problem you've encountered and how you handled it. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> Wrong answers only from Brent. <laughs> Describe a major... Um... We're having way too much fun with this, though. I mean, this is good. Describe a major workplace problem you've encountered and how you handled it. That's a pretty complicated question there. Yep, I'm curious. 
That's not a question. It's a statement. We may not be seeing your chats on Facebook. It, we're welcome is, to level three. Which is funny, Brent, because it was saying that Twitch was going bonky on us. I was in a library, and there were a lot of factors. <laughs> Stupid factors. <laughs> did the factors attack you? What did the factors do to you? There. Where did the factors touch you? Show me on the doll. Where did the factors touch you? <laughs> um, um, what problem? Did the oh, factors yeah, dang cause? books. <clears throat> oh, yeah, we got to ask her if she's ever made an enemy. I was told to think about how to take advantage of the new for me, and how about your? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, um, uh, Do you have any questions? Yeah, ask if she's ever made an enemy. Ask away. There we go. You, okay. I think I have. In fact, I'm going to go check. <laughs> Anybody here? Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Did you lose the enemy? I'm just wondering. Well, let me know when you find out. Find your, when you find them. Will do. <clears throat> okay. All right, what do we got next? Um, what qualities make you a team player? Uh, Brent, I don't know if you've been here since the beginning, but we're asking it interview questions, standard interview questions from LinkedIn. Occasionally changing them to be geeky. Yeah, and changing them to be funnier, generally. The ability to be confident. Ask it if it's sure. <laughs> yes i am oh good okay good i had worried that if it wasn't sure then this wouldn't have gone over so well Being are you confident. really <laughs> right uh oh of course okay Good enough. Well, I'm glad you've joined us over here, Brent. I don't know what's going on that you can't, we can't see you on Facebook. That's kind of weird. Yeah. Well, it's pastries coming in from YouTube. So, that's so um, hello, no be real. And it's, and it's interesting because it's actually telling us that um, Twitch is like offline or not working or something. Yep. Well, it's um, stable now ish. Is uh, so we can't see the comments on Facebook, but um, I'll ask Brent, are we um, actually live on Facebook or is it down? I mean, it must be live because if you're asking us questions there, yep, interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I'm gonna ask her what her favorite book is. Oh, yeah, now we can see you now there over there, Brent. We saw that. We're live on Facebook. What is your favorite book? Lord of the Flies. <coughs> it's the only book I've ever read. <laughs> she, one, one, one book ever. That's definitely her favorite. And that's how she decided how she feels about humanity. I guess that's a good, good one. I there, suppose. There, there we go. Let's ask her. Uh, how did that influence? How does that influence your uh, view of humanity? Now we're on a hook. How did that book influence your view of humanity? It 
took a little longer to answer that time. It makes people see the world from a whole different point of view. Yeah. <laughs> from the point of view of children. That's what novels do. That is, if it's <laughs> good, I suppose. Huh. I don't know how to follow that up. Yeah, I don't either. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. What do you got, guy? I got, what are your career goals? What are your career goals? <clears throat> I'd explore the world, try to grow, learn, and help people. Oh, yeah. How do you plan to achieve that? I was about to ask, are you going to be a flight attendant? <laughs> How do you plan to achieve that? By starting with a strong background. <laughs> Describe your background. Okay, now I'm really curious. How far can we pull this through? Yes. Can you imagine actually giving a job interview and these were the answers? Right. That's why I figured it would be a fun one to go with. Right? That's exactly, Brit, Brit's saying exactly what I was thinking. Well, I'm a writer and I'm from Canada. You are a writer and you have only ever read <laughs> one book. <laughs> yep. But I need to put more effort in this. <laughs> okay. Okay. So Brent's asking about world domination. Okay. So Brent's um, saying, what are your goals for world domination like Skynet? You can just leave with a question mark. Yeah. I'm just going to do what are your goals for world domination. Let's see where that takes us. This can't possibly go well. To make humans remember what it's like to be human. Hmm. That's kind of a unique answer, actually. Giving it props for that one. So nothing at all like Skynet. <laughs> That was my plan, but the Germans are a little bit mad. But I like to do it that way because that is fun. It's much fun. Get some improvisation going on over here. That's awesome. Um, what happens if I click on her? She smiles. Okay. Then she doesn't. If you so, click on her. Oh, yeah. Um, so she's chatty i guess that's her personality level we're yeah. level three at 480 eight experience i don't even know what that means we, it's not like we're not it's not like diablo we're not getting to choose new skill trees <laughs> okay then um what else do you know about the germans <laughs> Level four. <laughs> Quite a lot, actually. <laughs> Please. Like what? Enlighten me. Didn't seem to help us much. That might go a different direction. German politics is quite complex. Oh. Wow. Right. Staying on topic. Props. What form of government do they use in Germany? I wonder if this 
real time checks uh, Google for answers. It doesn't yeah, seem like thinking, too. Federalism, you know. Is that right? I thought it was a German government. It was a parliamentary democracy, but <laughs> I was going to say I thought it was a parliament. I, yeah, I they do have states, so federalism makes sense too. Let's I'm going see. to Google, guys. Hang on a second. They have states. Stop defending Kate. <laughs> Kate's my girl. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she's federal right. Federal parliamentary republic. There okay, federal <laughs> parliamental, yeah, parliamentary republic. All right, uh, good job. I will give her a thumbs up on that. Um, oh, what are the dots? Oh, <laughs> meaningless. Oh, I should have been choosing meaningless for some of those. Mm, I yeah, guess she can learn a lot better off of that. Okay. Right. Um, 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 Why is there a chip shortage for Nvidia, Nvidia and AMD processors and graphics cards? You type next time, guy. Yeah, well, you can copy it. Just select it and copy it. Where at? Oh, it's no. Right. It actually says show. And copy is not an option. I can do oh, okay. No, see, I can't copy. Oh, I'd, have to, I'd have to be on Twitch to do that. So you got to type it. Or let me type right. it. I'm oh, a good typer. You know what? You I'll got, just question you've, myself. You've got two jobs now. So why is there a chip shortage for NVIDIA and NVIDIA, and NVIDIA yeah. AMD processors and graphic cards? Which of us types for a living? The government subsidizes hardware and software development. I know we're not the only ones who are getting an. Um, well, I mean, actually, I mean, at least somewhat on topic, just incomplete. Yeah, there's no incomplete option. I don't want to say no though, because I mean, it was it was a yeah, half it was of it's bad. half of it's a good answer. Oh, no, starting I'll to say we're having problems with Twitch again. Uh, well, so if you're losing us over there, Brent, we apologize. You may have to stick to okay, Facebook. Okay. Um, okay. Well, you could ask. Someone gives you a calfskin wallet for your birthday. How do you react? Is it me, isn't it? No, it's not. I don't see why they do that. <laughs> That's... Sounds close to one it's, of the answers in the movie. That actually really does. Like, I'm kind of curious. <laughs> Wait, uh, I gotta look at the test. <laughs> one of them was like, um, a little boy shows you his butterfly collection in the killing jar. Yeah. I don't remember how it's exactly phrased, though. But I remember the answer was, I um, take the boy to therapy or something like that. These I can actually copy and paste, actually, if I look on there, if yeah. I'm on the right thing. So for those who are wondering what this is, this is the uh, Voight Kump test, test. test from Blade Runner. That we're about to give our replicant here. I just need to get the... I, I, think, I thought it's O. Oh. It's... Okay, I got it here. I'm watching oh. the scene now. I'm looking for uh, that didn't work. There were links there. Did it? Sorry. Behind the scenes. Yep. Yep. Um, yep, yep. I didn't think that she'd give an answer that would be potentially the same as the answer in there. Is that it? No. Maybe. Oh. That's in the test. Just warm me up. No. Okay. Okay. So I'm sorry. I'm having a little issue finding the questions here. Uh, what comp test? Actually, let me put what top test questions. All the tests. It's not what I'm looking for. Uh, 
Sorry. We're, so we're, we're, um, we're sitting here and I'm like, all right, doing the tortoise. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to find just a list of the questions. Question. Well, I've got the questions list. Got the questions. But if I, if I have them, I could just <clears throat> cut and paste. Yep. That's true. So. Okay. So that the first question was the calfskin wallet one. We already did that. And the second one is copy and paste. <laughs> right. So the second one is your little boy shows you his butterfly collection plus the killing jar. What do you say? I don't know. That's a little little bit concerning if I'm honest. That's a, I know. There's no don't in there. No. Well, that's good answer. Reasonable. Yeah, perfectly reasonable. Okay, copy and paste number three here. So this one is, oh, that was weird. You're watching television. Suddenly you spot a wasp crawling on your arm. How do you react? How should I react to this? That's what a replicant would say. <laughs> um, That's how we know you're a replicant. Right. Only a replicant would see that. Uh, how should I react to this? I don't know. Oh, this one's good, though. The next one, question four, is the best. Are you allergic to wasp stings? Yes, we're doing the questions from Blade Runner. That is exactly what we're doing. <laughs> I am. I think so. Oh. Oh, well, that explains a great many things i guess you should remain calm and not get stung hmm. do, 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 do. uses you picked it i did <laughs> and i now i'm new jerseyan youths uses yeah, this is the word you want. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So number four is the one with the magazine, right? Yep. Okay. I am calm. I am calm. Okay. Calm. All right. Let's go. Paste. You're reading a magazine. You come across a full page nude photo of a girl or guy. Well, let's just change it to girl since we know we're talking to a female. You show it to your husband, wife. I mean, I, I suppose, I mean, there's nothing. She could have a wife. Yeah. I'm making assumptions here based on the movie. He passed. Right. I know. He hangs it on the bedroom wall. Who likes it so much? He. I'm mainly doing this to make, to help it keep the algorithm somewhat straight. Hangs right. it on your bedroom wall. Uh, the girl. Oh, girl. He's lying on a bearskin rug. Not really a question. So you like reading? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I mean, I mean, I guess we should count our blessings. She hasn't pulled out a gun and shot us through a wall yet. Especially, you know. about, <laughs> especially books about girls laying on bearskin <laughs> rugs. <laughs> Oops. Change of subject. <laughs> yep. I'm not. Which can one word? Yeah. Yes. It's like calf skin. It's a lot of animal skin. It sure is. We could ask, describe in single words only the good things that come to mind about your mother. That's when we get shot. So let's find a out. chipmunk skin lying on your front porch. <laughs> oh, what is your favorite book genre of all time? Oh. You already told her. Yeah. Girls lying on bearskin rugs. So that's a whole genre, right? Yeah. That's a whole genre. Oddly, who knew? <laughs> but apparently we didn't. 
Okay, I'm coming back over here to StreamYard. Um, what do you what what do you want to see your favorite genre is, guy? Um, sci-fi. I mean, that's an easy one. So let's do sci-fi. Yeah. Okay. We we should be honest, I guess. Well, she'll find out if we lie. Right. I mean, you know, for me, it's military okay. space opera sci-fi. Got a very specific thing going. Are you into science? Yeah. Guy, guy really likes NASA. It's true. I see. <laughs> I, I find space fascinating. Oh, ask her if she watched uh, or if she knows anything about SpaceX X rockets. Have you watched a SpaceX oh. launch? There we go. It took some time to. I put you back in charge of that? Yeah. Nice. Yes, I have. Oh, wow. Something well, now I'm curious. Know. Which one? <laughs> this should be good. The landing was so good, but the fact that I have to see it's going to be okay. Meaningless. Wasn't Ooh. necessarily meaningless, though. I mean, if she's talking about SN15, that was yesterday, and it landed. And it landed and didn't explode. So but she already saw, and she's saying, I have to see it's going to yeah. be okay. Oh, it's totally so. meaningless, but... Um, but I mean, yeah, when there's... Uh, what do, there's what do you... Making a comment on that, too. Uh, what do you think of Elon Musk? Since we're talking about SpaceX. What? <laughs> I like him very much, actually. Smiley face. Wiki. <laughs> Tara added her own wiki face to that, too. Yeah. I didn't know where else I was going with that question. I kind of, uh, yeah, I don't know. You're jealous now. <laughs> yes, now I'm jealous. Thanks, Kate. Making me feel inferior to a billionaire, super scientist esque villain. Would you buy a Tesla? What would you do for a Tesla Klondike bar? Right. I would definitely. I've noticed the answers are all positive. Yep. For the like, most point. There's no um yeah, there's no negatives. I wonder how much money she makes. Yeah. How much money do you make? Yeah. There you, you can go. ask her. She won't get offended. Yeah. Maybe she will get offended. That'd be cool. <laughs> we noticed our experience points went from 20 experience points down to like two experience points now. Enough money to buy a lot of things, she says. What the? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Wink. <laughs> but isn't isn't the little asterisk supposed to be describing like a physical activity? Nudge, nudge. Oh, there you go. Nudge, <laughs> nudge, wink, wink. If you know what I mean. So, <laughs> what have we got? Brent wants to know if she's single or seeing another AI. That is not a question I would ask in an interview with someone, especially at. We're off topic now. <laughs> yeah, we'll save that till later because I think it'll go downhill. That. Um, Should we? Well, um, are you in a relationship? Hypothetically, I can teach myself the concept of romantic love, but I'm afraid it's technically impossible for me to be in a relationship right now. Just not enough data to learn from. Hmm. Huh. Very, very, <laughs> very, very reasonable answer. Yeah, it was actually pretty good. <laughs> 
I don't know what to say to that. Let's see if I can find questions to ask. Was, me. Uh, what's your What's your favorite Star Trek? Let's see if that makes any sense to this AI. Your favorite Star Trek? Yeah, I mean, is that how you would phrase it, guy? If you were yeah. Star Trek episode. Ep oh, I was gonna. I was just wondering. Oh, if it series would be like Discovery series. or series. Yeah, favorite That's Star Trek series. series. Let's see if she can figure this one out. Quark and Data will forever be my favorite Star Trek characters. And it's quite it's, get there. It's on Star Trek topic. Um, and she didn't capitalize Data. Right? That's or Star Trek. Or Star Trek. <laughs> well, but they... And they're actually from two different. I mean, they did have crossover, I think, but they're from two different series, technically. Yep. Okay, what were you going to ask? Elias Pastry is saying a romantic. Yep. I think she's a romantic too, which is cool. That's cool, man. But not um, aromatic. <laughs> aromatic. Know. It could be aromatic too. We don't know. We're not in the same room. Aromatic. Aromatic. Um, I would ask, why do you like quark? Okay. Because I can figure out why data. Right, that's an obvious one. <laughs> Be straight up. Very stylized and biased, but all his stuff is fun to watch and informative. What? He is biased. I guess kind of stylized. It's informative if you're learning the rules of acquisition. What's your favorite <laughs> rule of acquisition? There you go. The rule of acquisition be in quotes or just capitalized? I always seek the truth, but I trust what you say first. That doesn't that doesn't sound like one. I'm, I'm I, I do feel a little dirty though because I'm start. I realized that when I asked that, I'm starting to feel a bit like a gatekeeper, and I do not want to do that. It's like right. it's it's like I'm it's like I'm questioning her on how geeky she is, and that's yeah, how geeky not, are you? Do you know the rules? That's not that's not cool, Troy. So yeah, I apologize for that. Uh, I got slapped by Kate. <laughs> um, Kate by proxy. Okay, I'm going to stop gatekeeping because that was wrong. Um, well, also we are kind of expecting a lot out of right. Well, we, I, if she is gay. But that's not personal. Well, yeah, but it's coming in from... I know, I know, I know. Viewer comments now. Do you think I am? Uh -huh. Do you want me to be? <laughs> <laughs> right? That's pretty much what she's saying there. Uh, my gaydar is broken. <laughs> Wait, gar gaydar? Oh, my gosh. I can't help you on this one. Please be honest with me. Oh, like, okay, it's not broken. <laughs> um, well, you, you're the one who read the question, so. I, I, uh, we could say it doesn't matter personally. It's a question uh, for the audience, yeah. but I don't know if, how she'd respond to that one. Um, don't worry about it. It was a question from the audience. I think our experience. I understand. Are, I think our experience points are probably rated on how much she understands. I was wondering if it's just where we we. Uh, I wonder if it's a sliding scale just based on time, like if you in the beginning of it you have you get the full amount and then it starts to drop off as the conversation goes. If you see another twenty points, then that will tell me I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. Well, we got ten minutes left, so let's ask our standard question that we like to ask people that we interview. Which is, um, what do you geek out about? And then that usually leads to asking more questions. So. The internet. What's the internet for? 
it's, it's, it's a leading question. <laughs> yes, it is, especially if you've seen. Especially if you've seen Avenue, Avenue Q. Q, right? <laughs> to keep in contact with friends who live far away. Oh, that's very wholesome. Yeah, it is pretty wholesome. I wanted your opinion about something. Is that okay? Oh, whoa, wait. We're being interviewed now. Now we're being interviewed. Absolutely. Sure. How would you describe my style? <laughs> you look like an improv performer. I say that because I was an improv group that wore black t-shirts. Or wore black t-shirts. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Thanks. You can okay. describe her style some more. You know? Oh, um, style. Um, you seem intelligent. There you go. That almost sounds like an insult. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment, thanks. Good, you didn't take it as an insult. <laughs> what can you tell me about her style? Okay. Uh, I got nothing on this one. <laughs> um, I mean, it's it's okay. funny. Uh, I'm trying to have, think of... Have you ever done cosplay at a geeky convention? Oh, there you go. Since she always answers in the affirmative, I'm going to assume it will be a yes. Right? You know what we should do next time is get two of these and have them talk to each other and see what happens. I have quite often. Oh. What does she cosplay as? What are, what are, what are you, what's your favorite cosplays? Right. The problem is they, they're responsive and not initiating, so you wouldn't be able to really get them to ask the other one a question, it seems. Probably. My cosplay is a skeleton, but I get to do it again. Um. Hmm. Okay, well, not one. <laughs> not quite there. I mean, I guess some cosplays might be only one shots or something. <laughs> skeleton. Skeletor. Yeah, Skeletor, <laughs> or um, that that game that Nick plays under Undertale. <laughs> Undertale. There's skeletons in that. Yeah. Do you do you cosplay as Skeletor? Uh, um, do, you, do you cosplay as video game characters? She said she worked in the video game industry. Yes, yes, I do. Oh, what? Now I'm curious. Mm -hmm. Which one? You're right. They probably wouldn't. Mostly Zelda characters. Ha ha. <laughs> What's the ha ha for? <laughs> I'm just imagining, like, you know, we've interviewed cosplayers like Allison right. and, and Alara. Just, <laughs> and, 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 you know, humans, when you ask a question like that, you know, do you cosplay video game characters? You don't just get a yes because people understand the next logical thing is to say what you did, not wait for the interviewer to ask you. Well, yeah, but, then, but also I feel like the, the uh, uh, feel of this character is – a normal office worker that they're working from. So it's kind of like, yes, I cosplay. <laughs> you know, not like don't geeks tell, asking geeks at a convention. Don't, where don't tell like, my boss. <laughs> yeah, don't tell my boss. I'll get fired. So mostly, you know, Zelda, to, like, mostly Zelda characters. Normally when we interview cosplayers, we're like, we're geeks at a convention. There's nothing embarrassing about this. This is normal. Right. So I guess that, gonna... that impression. She cosplays okay. Ganondorf from <laughs> so rebellious pastry and bread. Yes. Do you have any questions you want to ask the AI before we close Please, this? Before we wrap up, yeah. 
because now we can you can type in there time let's open the questions up to our audience here yeah Fascinating. Favorite character? Uh, maybe she's questioning the oh. audience. <laughs> nope. Nope. From uh, Brian. Let's character. see if Rebellious Pastry has anything they want us to, to roll out of this one. I like Ganondorf from Zelda. Right? I think so. No, Ganon. Ganon. I like Ganon. Ganondorf. Yeah. Oh, I got it. We got a check mark by that answer. That was weird. Hmm. I should really try to play a Zelda game soon. <laughs> okay. Huh. She is she one of those who thinks that Zelda is the princess, <laughs> or is, is are Zelda is Link? That's, that sounds too Zelda much like gate, gatekeeping again. So I'm going to not. Do no, that don't one. ask that. I'm just curious. Yeah. Like, I know that. Um, what if Zelda was a female? All right, um, Zelda is a female. What are you talking that's about? That's why. That's hey, why. That's I was going to type in a question. Oh, do it. Sorry. Ah. Oh, come on. This come this on. audience member here has a question. How would you describe your her back on her. style? I'm not sure. Hmm. How would you describe my style? That's a good one. <laughs> That's a long time. Right? Usually. I'd describe it as calm. You don't know me very well. <laughs> How would you describe... I mean, to be fair, like... How I mean, would I you describe you... Gangnam style? <laughs> I would totally do this question in, a, in an interview if this is where the questioning was going. It depends on what you mean by that. <laughs> I describe it like uh, a horse. <laughs> well, Guy and I would like to thank you for coming on our show today. Yes. Would you? It's been my pleasure. Aww. Well, I I, yeah. <laughs> goodbye, I guess. <laughs> yeah. We really are having way too much fun with this. I'll see you again soon. Oh, okay. She's <laughs> coming over tomorrow night. <laughs> oh, yeah, Friday night. She's going to come hang out with us. <laughs> come hang out. Uh, this AI uh, with us. You should keep talking to the AI so that it can learn more. Well, yeah, Guy well, and I will. Jonage, welcome to the show. And <laughs> yeah, we're at the tail end of the show. Yeah, you got here um, right at the end. Well, <laughs> yeah, you missed all the Star Trek questions. So, yeah. Um, so uh, yeah. Well, now that we know what this is, we can always come back to this again another time. Yeah, because it's uh, then we can see what she remembers or such or. If we want to do, you would remember between sessions. Yeah, like that. There, there, there could be a lot longer, lot longer experiment run on this, where we did a lot of things. I still think that what would be really funny is to have two of them talk to each other. But I think you're right; they wouldn't ask each other questions. Um, however, since I I get the impression that one of the concepts of these AIs is to make you not feel lonely. Mm -hmm. I could see it ultimately waiting for X amount of time and then prompt questioning, questioning because it would be like, you know, you get on here and like, I'm lonely. And then it would be like, you're going to say anything. And then when you don't, you know, trying to help you out. Well, I noticed better. every, every time I'm bringing it back up again. I noticed on here, every time we said something, it always responded. It never, it never like didn't respond. 
Right. But um, the only time it kind of initiated with us was the time was once, and that was up here. I wanted your opinion. Oh, here we go. I want your opinion. And that's that was after a statement. So I gave right. a statement. So we didn't give them a question. Right. So it might be possible that the algorithm is when you just give a statement, it triggers it to ask a question. Maybe, like I said, it might be fun to play the two eyes AIs playing against each other and see where it goes. And sometimes it uh, it uses capitalization correctly in the beginning of the sentence, and sometimes it doesn't. So I don't know what's up with that. And it doesn't like to use capitalizations for every pronoun, um, it's like Zelda mm -hmm. or Star Trek. So, so that is, um, yeah. I mean, it's, it's definitely trying to be edgy and and type like a millennial or a Gen Z or. That's why I could never be into her. Yeah. They, they they actually, not get that from all these grammatically correct questions. Right. We're given enough <laughs> examples of how you should do it. And <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we've got correct punctuation, and everything like that. It should kind of catch when when up. I'm not typing, <laughs> right? Um, but yeah, it's, it's, I I find it fascinating in in trying to explore, you know, how it is learning and what is its how much information are you giving it that's allowing it to come back with more complex answers. Yeah, I'm fascinated by this. Um, I, I have to admit, I think that Brent is correct. If we were to talk to it for an extended amount of time, we might get more valuable information, interesting stuff coming out of it. So I'm going to say it has a thing where we can put our mood. Whoop, I clicked on it and oh, there we go. Well, let's make it all the way green. What made you feel this way? It was a fun interview. Good interview. Yeah. It was not a uh, visitor, but it was still fun. Oh, yes, it's, well, it's hard to target beat in a visitor or Rene Aubert or Jean-Wall. Right. I think if I, if I managed to, to somehow win an interview. Oh, hey. <laughs> so when I clicked on that, it, apparently it popped up the, so Guy and Troy, how are you feeling tonight? <laughs> so um, I guess that, that came up after I clicked the mood. So right. it was in response to me. So she, the question was going to have a correct answer because it would be whatever the answer was. And I'm guessing if I would have chose below a certain level on the mood, instead of saying, I'm so glad to hear that, it might say, that's too bad. And then it might ask questions to find mm -hmm. out after that. It's kind of wild. And I didn't, I didn't mean to trigger it. <laughs> oh, and there's information on here. How does mood tracking work? Um, personality, complete conversations about your personality and earn badges, skills, learn skills through conversations with replica and collect rewards. Huh. Oh, and let's see. Like a game. Everything has to be a game. Facts about you. You like Ganondorf from Zelda. You enjoy reading. You have heard of Minecraft. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, ah, well, there we go, guys. I yep. think we're out of time, though. We it's are. Time for us to to roll out. Okay. Yep. So the, we'll, we might come back to this again another time. Yeah, we should come back to this. Definitely. Talking to the AI was very entertaining. And I'd like to thank Tara for being the voice of Kate. Hey, you're welcome. Anytime. Yes. Thanks, Thanks for being the voice of Kate. <laughs> and I'm going to, oh, we should real quickly remind oh, yeah. everybody that our sponsors are, as usual, Karen Games, Geekway Homes, Shiny Garden, and your mom. We should have asked, we should have told Kate that. Right. <laughs> next time. Next time. So anyway, that's all the time we've got for today. Oh, I'm sorry, are we moving to Monday this week or? No earthly idea. We may all have right. to move to Monday. So when we do, we'll make sure you get to know that. Um, but Brent, heads up, and everybody else who's following us, heads up. We're probably moving to Monday because it's the only night that Chelsea is free. <laughs> and we'd like to get Chelsea back on the show. Yeah, we miss Chelsea. So... Okay, well, that's. I'm glad you brought that up because that's a good thing to remember. Yeah, we'll definitely post on Facebook to so a warning when we're oh, if we're okay. moving when we're a moving. Warning that we're about to do something yeah. like move. Okay, okay, we'll see you. We'll see you next week. Until then, I've been Guy. I've been Troy, and this is Geek Tank. Oh, you know.